everybody, I'm Nick, and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII. On the last episode, we got caught, but then we were broken out by something very violent. But before we start today's episode, I kind of forgot that I kind of made this little GIF animation here to be like, hey, you should like, you should subscribe, you should hit the bell. Well, actually, it just says subscribe and hit the bell. Because do these things, and I'll be a happy channel. God damn it, cough. I want to just do things in peace. Anyway, today we need to go on up here and see what's happened. Oh, hey, he did. He's dead. The, lead, the leader of Shinra Incorporated is dead. <coughs> then this sword must be Sephiroth. Sephiroth is alive? Looks like it. Only Sephiroth can use that sword. Who cares who did it? This is the end of Shinra now. Ugh. B -b 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 please don't kill me. What happened? S Sephiroth. Sephiroth came! Did you see him? Did you see Sephiroth? Yeah, I saw him! I saw him with my own eyes! You really saw him? Uh, would I lie to you at a time like this? And I heard his voice too! Um, he was saying something about not letting us have the promised land! Then what? <coughs> Does that mean that the Promised Land really exists and that Sephiroth's here to save it from Shinra? So he's a good guy then. Save the Promised Land? A good guy? No way. It's not that simple. I know him. Sephiroth's mission is different. Rufus! Ah, oh, I forgot about him. Who's that? Vice President Rufus, the President's son. I heard that he's been assigned somewhere else for a long time. I've heard that no one has ever seen him bleed or cry. I only know his name. I wonder what kind of person he is. So, so Sephiroth is actually here, by the way. Who are you guys? I'm Cloud, former soldier, first class. I'm from Avalanche. Same here. A flower girl from the slums. A research specimen. What a crew. Well, I'm Rufus, the president of Shinra Incorporated. You're only president because your old man died. That's right. I'll let you hear my new appointment speech. Old man tried to control the world with money. It seemed to have been working. The population thought that Shinra would protect them. Work at Shinra, get your pay. If a terrorist attacks, the Shinra army will help you. It looks perfect on the outside. But I do things differently. I'll control the world with fear. It takes too much to do it like my old man. A little fear will control the minds of the common people. There's no reason to waste money on them. He likes to make speeches just like his father. Get out of this building with Aerith. What? <coughs> I'll explain later, Barrett. This is the real crisis for the planet. The hell's that supposed to mean? I'll tell you later. Just take my word for it now. I'll go after I take care of him. All right, Cloud.
Cloud, I just thought of something. I'll wait for Cloud. Everyone, get to the elevator. Hmm, it's going to get pretty ugly from here on. We should check on our equipment. So, we can remove everything for now. Just so, uh, we can make sure to equip everyone we need here. With Materia, specifically. What am I doing? Because these guys have goddamn nothing. So, for now... I'm just going to equip things as they are right here. It would be critical to have lightning materia on uh, this party specifically. I would like any amount of materia here, so you can have sense. All I'm going to need on cloud is ice. That's all I'm really going to need. I just need some sort of offense outside of, you know, hitting things with a pointy stick. Are you freaking serious? I was in the middle of some climactic bullshit until you guys had to do things. Alright, we in the elevator. Yep, we get a fight in the elevator. This hunking thing is out for our blood. And the first thing it does is shatter the glass. <coughs> Boy, how fun. Do you like boss fights? Because that's basically what's happening here. Though for now, it's just a case of please bring your lightning magic. Really, just bring your magic. And Barrett's the only one who can actually attack this thing. With physical attacks anyway, because you know, gun. For everything else, just spam your magic. There's not much more you need to do than that. I do not remember how much HP this thing has, so... I apologize for that. I think I may have... Yeah, I have sense here. We can just use that. Hey, can you not do that? Or if you do keep doing that, just do it to charge my limit gauge. Pfft, of course the bio spell misses you. 1600 hit points! Bullshit! Man, this thing is stockier than I thought. Let's just keep spamming fire. Oh hey, I did some damage to it. I don't know what that does. Pfft, got some misses. Or a miss on Baron anyway, so... I mean, that's cool. But I also kind of have gear magic, so... What's it gonna do? Not enough. Anyway, just keep spamming the magic and I think you'll be okay. Especially because it's limit time. Limit time. You know, I could have saved that, but... Well, I'm being dumb, so... What's more to it other than that? Really, I don't have much more to say other than... Blast it with magic and limits. Your limits don't have an impact on range. I'll tell you that much. Otherwise, you just hit the thing and you're good. Also, as you keep using, if you use sense on, oh, oh boy. You can't have that. You can also hit select to uh, see the hit points remaining now. So that's pretty useful. Oh great, you're all charged up. What you gonna do? I can't, I don't really have enough firepower to kill you before that goes off, which is unfortunate, so. Well, I'll try, at the very least. Ah, these other attacks aren't doing enough damage. Oh, I actually KO'd it before I used that sensory cannon. But, it's not over yet. Because we got this thing! Let's just use sense on... Why do I have sense on both party members? What the hell? This thing also hurts. Uh... Oh, I'm getting hit. That's what's going on. There we go. Because 
if you're a machine, you're weak to magic. This thing only has a thousand hit points, so... It's also weak to win, but I don't think you really have that yet, so... There's that. Thanks to a few uh, bolt spells, this thing should definitely be going down. Ow, what a dick. Might wanna do something about that on the next turn. Before I do that, I'ma just keep slinging spells your way because I don't really have much else to do other than that. Wait, what does this do? Oh, it was a line attack. Okay. I think this does about as much as Bolt does, but I need to build up limit uses on this thing because that, that way I get the other limit skill. Okay, what are you doing? What are you doing? Whatever you're doing is not okay. Well, at least I just healed that off, so that's cool. Not really much more to it other than, you know, spam stuff. The more interesting fights come later in the game, I swear. <laughs> I, I just, I also just don't really have a ton of memories of this thing in terms of impact, so it's kind of cool that it's two fights in a row, but what else can I, s oh, there it goes. Thank you for not going on much longer than you had to. And thank you for the mithril armlet. I will equip that later. And now we can, you know, properly equip ourselves. So what we're gonna do is, uh, I'ma equip fire. I'ma equip Wait, why the hell does that have so much more AP? Oh wait, this is Red 13's fire materia. Mine has this much. Okay, that makes way more sense. Then at this point, uh... Well, we might as well equip Restore All, even if the All doesn't do anything right now. This is all I'm really going to need. And then we can get right into the action by pressing start. Why do you want to fight me? You seek the promised land and Sephiroth. Hmm, exactly. Hmm, did you know that Sephiroth is an ancient? A lot has happened. Anyway, I can't let either you or Sephiroth have the promised land. I see. I guess this means we won't become friends. Rufus time! Hope you like back-to-back -back boss fights, because that's what you're getting here. <laughs> Let's cross-slash this thing first. Because this is what I was saving my limit for. And it was a one-hit KO, so what that thing can do is provide both Protect and Shell on uh, Rufus. Although the names for those spells are a bit different, I'd like to say, in this game. I believe the, the Barrier and M Barrier in this game, because Barrier Gauge. And they actually give you gauges for your party members' uh, Protect and Shell. That's just how I've known them in the series, so that's what I'm going to keep calling them. And all he really is gonna just do is shoot me with a shotgun while I whack him in the face with this sword. It's fun, eh? I'm only taking mild damage from a fucking shotgun. That's what we get for being fucking superhumans. Also, that's what we get for being in an RPG where numbers rule the day. Heh, <laughs> that's all for today. Yeah, this is not a long boss fight at all, especially if you go in with your limit charged. He's only got like a couple hundred HP. And we even get some items for our trouble, nice. So that protect vest. Yeah, it's a 
these are uh, accessories, so to speak. And now that this is the case, we it's time for us to bail. And now we have Tifa here. Where's Rufus? I couldn't finish him. Looks like this is gonna get complicated. And you know what? I think this is where we're gonna leave things off for today. So, on today's episode of Final Fantasy VII, we did our best to try and escape and fought several different boss fights, so that's fun. We even got to punch Rufus in the face for a bit. And on the next episode, we are bailing. So with that, I'm Nick, and I'll see you guys next time.